Well, kind of a wet Mother's Day for most. Meteorologist Michelle McLeod is tracking your seven first alert forecast. Michelle? You know, it has been a wet Mother's Day, and I hate being the bearer of bad news. So I'm going to show you a fun time lapse and start the weather out with something fun. So we're going to look at the clouds and whatnot. And yes, there's a raindrop right here showing how wet it was. But I want you to keep an eye on the canal here. It's a cute little, well, it's not little, it's, it's quite large. The container ship comes out, it does its thing right about now, turns around and heads out. That stuff is so fun for me and interesting and I love to show that to you. Um, but let's get back to what's going on now, shall we? Temperatures not nearly where they need to be. We should be around 64 and it's only 46. And it's breezy on top of that, so it doesn't feel great. Look at this, since when have we Let's put the wind chill into here. It's 30, feels like it's 39 degrees. So not only would we need the jacket, but we need the umbrellas too. Check out, check out all these lines. This is to show how breezy it is out there. And the blue, the blue, it's because it's cold. And the cold makes us sad because it's May and we're supposed to be hot. And it'll come, I'll tell you that in seven day. But I wanna zoom this picture out to you to show you that we're gonna get a lot more of the same in the next few days. Our temperature is staying pretty steady in the upper 40s to low 50s. Again though, stick with me because it is going to change. Also zooming it out, more batches of rain on the way. We do get a bit of dry time in between the system that just left and then the next system. Not much dry time in the heels of that, boom, another system but we do get more dry time behind that. I swear, it's like system after system. I'm sorry. So 11 p.m., like I said, more rain coming through. And we're gonna just fast forward through Futurecast to show you that at six in the morning, it's pretty much a washout for everyone on their way to work. Luckily though, those are dark greens and not the yellows like we're seeing now just south of Dunkirk, those are heavier rains. But luckily they don't stick around for very long. I stopped this at four because we have this really interesting feature here. And it's this counterclockwise spin, a line of showers here. Southern tier, Pennsylvania always used to getting in on the heavier showers. Now by 6 p.m., this is when the slow roll happens. We're gonna have to slow our rolls because it's going to be a wet road out there but you're used to riding in the rain if you've been doing this for a while. Tuesday at seven in the morning, waking up to more scattered showers. Things are finally starting to fall apart and dry up for us. Tuesday at 4.30, looking more dry. So tonight, same thing as I told you last night. Showers, breezy, cool those winds, east 10 to 15 miles an hour. And tomorrow's a slower, right? But again, I'm gonna give you a yellow light on that. Put on the jacket, ride a little slower out there. Just be careful, we're gonna have light rain, damp ride. It's going to be cool out there. And tomorrow, much more of the same for everybody. Look at our highs, only in the 50s. I'm so sorry, guys. I wish I could bring you better news. And I'm about to. Check this out. We're not even gonna go into the beginning of the week because we don't wanna look at that. Look at Wednesday. This is what we wanna look at. Our temperatures finally get normal. And then into the end of the week and the weekend, look at those two days, Saturday, Sunday, both in the yellow, both in the 70s. That is what we wanna see. Even if we have to deal with light spotty showers, we'll take it because we are tired of the cold. Right, Western New York? Michelle, you buried the lead there. My goodness, <laughs> you see that weekend next season? That yes, looks great. I don't wish my life away, but. <laughs>